Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com and it says Supreme Court to hear and decide two cases, one on online speech and the other on Section 230. Once again, this comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com and it says the Supreme Court on Monday agreed to hear two cases this term on whether social media companies can be held financially responsible for hosting content, any type of content, including terrorist content. So the first case is of the family of Naomi Gonzalez, a 23-year-old U.S. citizen killed during a 2015 series of Islamic State terror attacks in Paris. They sued YouTube parent Google arguing that the video sharing site not only provided a platform for videos containing terrorist content, but also recommended the videos to millions of their users. The family alleges that YouTube's algorithm allowed hundreds of radicalizing videos inciting violence and recruiting potential supporters to be targeted to users of the platform. Targeted. That's the key word. Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act says companies like YouTube, Google, and Twitter are generally shielded from liability for information uploaded by their users. But the case, Gonzalez versus Google, asks whether it should apply when tech companies make targeted recommendations targeted recommendations that is the key word because section 230 shields these companies like google twitter and facebook from being liable but only if the user found the content on their own all of these social media companies thought it was a very good idea to create these algorithms so it can target certain populations with certain type of content so they can make more money or get more users. But that is where their downfall is going to come. See, that is the key to taking down Section 230. Section 230 only shields those that the content is uploaded and randomly found not uploaded and algorithmically found, if that's a word. <laughs> um, so that is where the key comes. This, that is where they're going to be able to win. Because most content on YouTube, most content on Twitter and Facebook and whatever are controlled by the algorithm, which is not controlled by the user. That is where they screwed up. It says a judge dismissed the case, meaning the, the case with Naomi Gonzalez, the family of Naomi Gonzalez, and the family appealed to the Supreme Court, which now the Supreme Court has approved that appeal. The second case the Supreme Court agreed to hear is Twitter versus Tamina. It involves the 2017 death of Jordanian citizen Naraz Alaf during an ISIS-affiliated attack in Istanbul. Al-Asaf's family sued social media giants Twitter, Google, and Facebook, arguing that the companies did not take enough action to control terrorist content on their sites. A lower court allowed the case to move forward, but Twitter argued that the earlier decision improperly expanded the scope of, anti of the Anti-Terrorism Act and warrants a review from the Supreme Court, which now they are going to get that review. Let's see if it works out for Twitter. Both cases could have sin significant implications for online speech and the role of each tech company in controlling what users share through their platforms. So Section 230, yes, it will keep everyone liable, including the tech companies. But the problem with Section 230 and taking it down is that speech is pretty much already restricted on social media. But how much more restricted can speech get on social media? By applying Section or by taking down Section 230, that would mean 
also taking down hundreds, if not thousands of creators, users, millions of users will go down. Because if YouTube or if Twitter or Facebook see that you could potentially get them sued, they don't want you on their platform. So free speech on social media is going to be even more restricted than it is now to the point where they're not, there's going to be no warning. So it's just going, they're just going to start banning people because they're going to be so terrified of getting sued. So let us know in the comment section below if you do have social media of any kind. And this will go all over the place. Don't think that it's just Twitter, Facebook, and Google, YouTube, or whatever. No, no, this is everything else. This is Gab, Parler, Getter, Truth, all of them. We're talking about every single social media site on the internet. It doesn't just stop with Twitter, Facebook, and Google or YouTube. No, this is all of them. Every single one of them, including Trump's Truth Social. That one too. It includes, it, the shielding is, will be taken away from all of them. So, is it a good idea? Is it a good idea to take down Section 230? And yes, Twitter will now be held liable and they can be sued as, as much as people want. But at the same time, what if your favorite creators go down? What if your favorite talking heads go down? Because Twitter is so terrified of getting sued because YouTube is so terrified of getting sued that they're going to start banning all of your favorite creators. That they're going to start taking down sites like Gab and Parler and, and Getter and Truth and all of those other ones. Because the liberals will go crazy trying to sue every single one of those sites. Is it a good idea to restrict speech online completely? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to share this video on social media. Let patriots know about what's going on because everyone's speech is in danger if, in fact, they do take down Section 230 because once they do take down Section 230, those social media sites will take it out on their users. And many, many, many hundreds of thousands of creators, users, patriots, truth seekers, or whatever you want to call them, are going to get banned and instantly banned. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Share this video on social media. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click that notification bell and visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. Thank you so much, folks, and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you missed our previous video, they should be coming up on your screen. And once again, visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com, and I will see you on the next one. Have a blessed rest of your day. Peace.